Hey, Jonathan. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you today on this snowy well, evening? It's winter, isn't it? But that's okay. It's, we're all dancing. Yeah, you're here to dance up a storm. I love it. So, um, it's our Dancing Days of Christmas series. And uh, we're just asking some people to share some of their dance stories with us. So, thank you for sitting down and no taking problem. a few minutes with us. Um, tell us a little bit about how you discovered dancing. Uh, come dancing specifically, it was kind of a strange story. Because as I understand it, it was the only time you advertised in the paper over at Bolton where I live. <laughs> and I just happened to see an ad and, and decided to try something new and different. Of course, at that time, it was the first time I saw Shall We Dance, and it was like, ooh, this is new and different, let's give it a try. What was it about the dancing in Shall We Dance that um, uh, called to you? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, as opposed to maybe going to do a, a Zumba class or a hip hop or, or something else, what was it about ballroom dancing that kind of... I don't know. I think there's a, a class and a fun around the uh, ballroom and Latin dancing that just doesn't exist anywhere else. It's it's just kind of... Uh, and of course, it's a Hollywood movie, right? And they make it look so fantastic. And it turns out they weren't lying. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been dancing now? Uh, over 10 years now. Wow. So do you have a favorite genre? Uh, all of them have their particular fun parts, but uh, cha-cha, swing, they're fun because you can just kind of go out and have a riot with them and not worry about things too much. Hmm. And um, so the final question that I tend to ask everyone oh, oh. is, what is the greatest gift that dance has given you? That's a hard question, but uh, I think what's happened is through dancing, it's opened up a whole new kind of aspect of the world to me. And inside that world, you've got great friends. Uh, lots and lots of laughter and a lot of fun times. Had experiences I never thought I would, would, would have. So it's just a load of fun. So would you say that it's, it's kind of um, pushed you outside of your bubble? Or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you've dragged me outside my bubble on a number of occasions. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's expanded the world. It's it's challenged me, but it, that's not the big thing. The big thing is you're out there, you're having fun, right? Mm. And it, and you don't mind being taken outside of your your comfort zone because you know it's going to be a riot. It is a riot. I love that. Well, that sounds wonderful. So thank you so much for uh, sharing your story with us. Not a problem. Anytime.